Whether you celebrate Christmas in a religious way, or maybe as a consumerist holiday, maybe you just spend time with family, or maybe you celebrate a whole different holiday instead. Maybe you sit at home alone and just get drunk. Whatever it is, it is a time for celebration. It is also a time to complain that other people are not celebrating correctly. So around this time of the year, a lot of applications change their logo to be something to include a Santa hat. It's a totally normal thing, but it leads to issues like this one. Unbiased, multicultural holiday logo derivatives from the MPV project. Now the issue isn't necessarily that there is a Santa hat. We'll get to some of those ones a bit later. The issue... <laughs> this is why people think it is basically a troll issue. All the religious holidays, including the ones of the Satanic Temple and the Atheist Organizations, should be represented equally. Considering the amount of holidays and potential overlap in the Gregorian calendar, assumption probably the calendar used to calculate the present issue, there might need to appear several specially customized MPV logos. I'd like to suggest additionally to order those special logos based on the local system's random number generator. This introduces a little spice. Every time you open the app, you'd get a different sorting, and no one can blame the MPV devs being particularly biased because it's the individual user's busyness which kind of RNG system they run MPV on. I feel like that needed some more full stops in there somewhere. Every date that doesn't qualify as a religious holiday should have a randomly selected MPV logo that incorporates an atheist organization's logo amalgamation, a derivative of the MPV logo, and the organization's logo. If none of the dates qualify as atheist dates, all dates should represent at least one randomly selected atheist derivative logo. If this already doesn't read like a troll issue to you, it keeps going. I haven't tested it exhaustively, simulating every single date of the year, but I've run MPV plenty of times without specifying a file or playlist outside of Christian holiday season. I've never seen custom themed MPV logos incorporating non-Christian symbolism. Half moons, candle holders, big body buddy bellies, I don't know what that is, seat daggers, tau dao, or whatever symbolism everyone else prefers to identify with. This is not okay. Floss free as in Libre open source software must be for all, include everyone, or just exist without a particular bias. It actually doesn't have to be for everyone, sometimes particular people can be excluded, like MPV explicitly saying, we don't support GNOME. This here is the logo in question. Now if you don't know, you actually can disable this, and you've always been able to with the green and grumpy option. So just hide it if you don't like it. And then this maintainer closed the issue. And this should have been the end of it. It's not the end of it though. They gave another response. And keep the Christian bias in the default config, excluding everyone else? Making me do work and behave and feel like someone who's the bad guy in a society is not how inclusion works. Either everyone gets included in our happy floss family, or no one gets a special spot. For the record, this person has never contributed to the project before. They're just demanding this feature is being added. Also, keep in mind, this is an issue, not a merge request. They are demanding that somebody in the MPV project go and make all of these logos for them. Now, for the record, the project is not opposed to adding new logos. Feel free to open a PR and try not to exclude yourself and everyone else around the world. Maybe be a more positive person instead of trying to find issues where there are none. If they wanted to make more, they could go and do that and they probably would be accepted if they're good logos. But that's not at all what they were doing. Part of why this maintainer is just not having any of this discussion is this has come up before and it's going to come up again. A couple of years ago, somebody made this issue, how to remove the logo of Christian commemoration. I prefer Atheist Software. Once again, the option was still there at the time, but people don't know how to read or they just don't want it to exist in the application at all. The hat is not intended to be religious or Christian, just a festive Easter <laughs> egg. If it calms your nerves, the feature was written by an atheist with no intent beyond a little fun. And obviously the rest of the people in the bug tracker basically just mocked them because they're kind of mockable. But thanks to this new troll issue, this happened. Remove merriment. 
I honestly don't care either way, but I also don't believe this innocent and cute hat is worth repeatedly having people show up on the issue tracker to aggressively virtue signal and then shit talk the project elsewhere when the concerns are ignored and made fun of. For the record, I approve of neither brand of childish nonsense. If your workflow depends on December festivities, feel free to use an alternative OSC implementation, that being like the MPV front end. This fixes both the old issue and also the new one. Christmas has been officially cancelled in the FOSS world. Now, again, this kind of got laughed at. A lot of people are like, what are you doing? This is a troll issue. Stop taking it seriously. There's nothing serious about it. And then... <laughs> Basically right after, this happened. Revert, remove, merriment. This reverts this right here and restores feature parity with VLC. And that should have been the end of it. Code of conduct in the multicultural user base, nonviolent communication. Now remember what I said, this user is new to the project. This isn't some established maintainer. They searched for a code of conduct and couldn't find one. I've heard about nonviolent communication and communication theory in general, which should be useful to everyone. In short, there's a sender and a recipient. One intends to send meaning via their personal POV, kind of encoding the meaning into a public message, and the multicolored recipients in this here scenario try their best to translate that intended meaning back into their own POV slash frame of reference. Everyone has a rather unique internal model of reality. I acknowledge this scientific fact. I am by no means a communications expert myself. My skills certainly require some honing. I'd like to leave those keywords here for peaceful on-topic consideration. I'm humbly asking to take that previous issue, the troll issue they made, as a case study, or any other too heated discussion as an example. How should we communicate with each other in order to not unintentionally slap someone else in the face? Now this isn't being downvoted because they don't want a CRC. They actually have one. They have the big daddy of COC, the Contributor Covenant. The reason that this is being downvoted is because they were demanding that hundreds of icons were being made, and they weren't going to make any of them. And this user chimed in with a good take. As far as that issue goes, I don't believe the Santa hat represents any religion, but that's besides the point. MPV isn't opposed to other festive icons being added to the OSC, including the Santa hat, given someone cares enough about it to send a PR. MPV is the product of the culture that builds it, not the other way around. There just happen to be MPV users who care enough about the Santa hat to add it to MPV. MPV also has a ton of Chinese users and plenty of users are anime enjoys. So if any of them wanted to add a logo for the Lunar New Year or anime icons, they would be welcome to. There is no exclusion here. If a particular festive logo isn't there, it just means the people who care about it just don't care enough about MPV to add it. I don't think a PR adding more festive logos for the OSC idle screen would be rejected. And that developer who removed the merriment also chimed in. One fundamental property of free software is that it takes shape through the people who build it. Conflict often arises when a vision of what it should and shouldn't be is imposed on it by project leaders, by people waging culture wars, by financial incentives. That issue imposes such a vision, not only making demands of programmers to make changes and additions to the code in a purely practical sense, but more crucially, dictating cultural values to follow and in a wider sense how the project should understand itself and how it is to be operated and governed in order to meet these demands. In an attempt to neutralize the source of this conflict, seeing as its resolution seemed impractical to say the least, hundreds of logos, I removed the accursed hat, which was intended not as a symbol of religious commemoration, but as a fun, cute gimmick to make people smile. But even if it was done out of mere avoidance, not taking either side of the argument, this also was seen as a forceful intervention. I imposed my idea of where fun and playfulness are outweighed by the potential to provoke external hostility, and disregarded what that meant for people who enjoyed building something they liked through free creative synthesis, who had put time and effort into something 
only to see it thrown out and declared harmful at a moment's notice. So yeah, this is one of those cases where I believe contributions welcome is an appropriate response. If you want to make a difference here, you'll have to be part of the change. Now, I also want to highlight two other issues from years gone by. These were quite popular when they happened, so you may know about them. One being from VS Code, the other being from VLC. Let's start with VS Code. So here we go. Santa hat on VS Code insiders and pushing religion is very offensive to me. This user claims that Christmas has caused the death of millions of Jews and is also equivalent to this symbol from the bad people in the 1940s. I'll let that one sit there for a moment. You can clearly see the user response it got, but VS Code isn't a community project. It's open source, but it's a Microsoft project, and Microsoft doesn't want angry Twitter threads. So they're just like, okay, we are sorry we hurt your feelings and other people. We will remove the Santa hat. Do not write articles about us. We don't want any drama. But drama is what they got just from different people. So you might see that a couple of comments have been deleted. Now, along with this, um, the entire repo got brigaded for a while with issues asking for it to be brought back. So much so that VS Code actually went closed source for a little bit, and then when it eventually came back, they removed the Santa hat, and they replaced it with a snowflake. Now, I don't think they were going for the other meaning of snowflake. They just were like, oh, it's winter. Snowflake. Makes sense. But this led to them being mocked again because it's kind of funny that that's what they went with. Also, snowflakes, very offensive to me as an Australian as it is summer during Christmas. Now, a lot of those issues got deleted, but if you scroll through the list of things that are tagged here, like, <laughs> there's a couple of them and a lot more made just because of the snowflake. Now, eventually the snowflake became configurable, so now you can just go and set the icon to what you want it to be, which... I think is the best end result. The opposite end of the spectrum is VLC. Nine years ago, Santa Hat. The app icon suddenly has a Santa Hat on it when no video is playing or in the notification bar. I'm Jewish and don't appreciate that my computer is now decorated for Christmas. I find it offensive and totally out of line to surprise users with religious decorations. Note that I don't mind that you spruced up the icon on videoland.org homepage, that being the VLC website. Now, VLC works in the same way as MPV here. You can turn it off. There is already an option to disable that since years ago. This has been discussed over and over. This is where it gets real fun, though. Note also that being offended is not an argument and never will be. Status works for me. Closed. Now, as with many issues, that could have been the end of it. And then he includes a Stephen Fry quote. It's now very common to hear people say, I'm rather offended by that, as if that gives them certain rights. It's no more than a whine. It has no meaning. It has no purpose. It has no reason to be respected as a phrase. I'm offended by that. Well, so effing what? Which should not surprise you, cause the rest of the thread to devolve into an argument. A lot of people arguing whether a Santa hat is religious or is not religious, is Christian or is not Christian, and what does it mean to support Christmas as an atheist, or is this religion or is that religion? It's a giant mess of a discussion. I'll leave it linked down below. Now, for the record, the guy that said that, right, this is the creator of VLC. This isn't just some, like, random maintainer on the project. It's the VLC guy. You don't raise a cultural concern. You are being obtuse. I'm polite. On purpose. The solution was given on the first comment, and you don't raise anything since it's been debated for years, always in the same way. And you are consuming our time by not being able to use a basic Google search and attacking us on our forum. Finally, yes, Please stop using VLC. It will make both of us happier. By the way, maybe you should be offended for actual reasons and use your time to make the world 
better and donate time to other people. Now, it's funny that he said this to this person because they actually do that. This user, Torbra, otherwise known as Joshua Torbra, made govtrack.us, made mail in a box, which is a very simple way for setting up an email server. Like, this is a person who actually does things out in the world already. It's just they also happen to complain on the VLC issue tracker. So hopefully this made your holiday season just a little bit more fun. Have you seen these issues before? Did you know they happened? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scribes to Libera, Libera Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and... Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that fun stuff. See you guys next year.